Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I found some more drama regarding the Megsy and she's at it again with her very, it comes across as extreme jealousy regarding Kate and it's also impacted William as well. So we know that William and Kate celebrated their nine year anniversary since they got married on the 29th of April, which I marked on my YouTube community tab. Thank you very much guys for checking that out. They are a lovely couple. They are the future king and queen of England. And I'm really excited about that day when it does finally happen for them. Obviously I'm not wishing Charles dead or anything, but I'm really excited for there to be a king and a queen reigning together. And I think that it will be a very beautiful moment in British history when it finally happens. But we know who isn't so happy about that and who just had to eclipse that moment for them. So it was the grand old Megsy at it again with her limelight seeking tricks. So she popped up all over social media on her fan pages run by the sugars and in quite a few of the news publications regarding this patronage that she supports so she supports an organization called smart works who support women who are unemployed who have scored job interviews which i think is a really good thing to, to do I think it's a really positive thing to do but I don't like the way in which she's used it to essentially eclipse William and Kate's anniversary can't she just let them have a moment can she not evidently she can't so this just this is a little bit of information about the organization I guess this is going to seem a bit promotional on my channel I support the work that they do, so I'm not knocking the founders or the people who run the organisation. I think it's a fantastic thing and I think it's a much needed service. So I just had a little skim on their website and it just has here at the heart of Smartworks sits a two hour dressing and coaching service for unemployed women with confirmed job interviews. Each client has a personalised styling session with two Smartworks volunteer stylists receiving a complete outfit of high quality clothes and accessories for their specific job interview which are free and hers to keep which I think is lovely I've, I think it's fantastic but it seems that Megan has used it in a way to uh, get attention off of William and Kate's milestone so they've posted here conveniently she apparently sat in on a zoom call with a very young girl her name is Chrissy Yuzu Nova from London. So this girl is in her early 20s. They shared this on the same day of, this is an interview that her and Megan allegedly done March 27th. So if they have done it so early and far back, why didn't they just post it? Why did it have to be posted now on the exact same day as William and Kate's wedding anniversary? I just think it's quite catty. It's quite a mean thing to do. It's a selfish thing to do. The Daily Mail wrote here, and we know that Megan hates this publication, but I'm going going to get into it anyway. Interviewee mentored by Meghan Markle by video call says she's still in shock that the down-to-earth royal surprised her with a coaching call and this really just screams out propaganda. We know that this girl is very young and she's very impressionable. She's going to say the best things about Meghan. It's not every day that she's meeting people like that. It's not every day that I'm meeting people like that but I know what Mexi is about. I would be bored over if, I don't know, Kylie Minogue called me or if Amanda Holden called me or Alicia Dixon or Tina Turner, especially if they're telling me nice things. We know that flattery gets to everyone's ego. So Megan seems to have really flattered this young lady and she gave her some words of encouragement. And this girl quickly was quick to basically say that she absolutely adores Megan and she thinks that she's a down-to-earth person but we know that Megan is pretty much used this girl as a way to get back at the British media to get back at the people who aren't fans of her who aren't convinced that she's a fabulous person like myself and the other bloggers who run their channels and I just think it's a very conniving thing to do considering there's this whole pandemic going on and you're just again trying to make everything about you 
So the article carries on to say Chrissy Usanova, I hope I'm saying that correctly, from London, was taking part in a video call with Smartworks to prepare for an internship interview in March when Megan38 suddenly joined the call. Sharing her shock on Twitter, she revealed, at the end of March, I took part in an interview prep session with Smartworks and at the end, I was surprised with their royal patron, Meghan Markle. The youngster who describes herself as a yogi and feminist online went on to call the Duchess the sweetest, most down-to-earth person that I ever met and said the experience had been a true honour. Hmm, okay, really? She's saying that it's a true honour. I mean, she would, I think that this girl was bowled over. And there was also that reference in another Daily Mail article regarding Meghan and Harry when they was delivering food and allegedly they ran into an old lady who was just frozen in disbelief, like she didn't believe it was them. And these are just normal, everyday, innocent people. They, they're they not really, they don't know what's really going on. But we know if you look at Megan's track record as a whole we know what's going on we know how she pulls strings and kind of finesses her way as Wendy Williams says to get into the place she wants to get to we know that her reputation has taken a big hit we also know that she's really low on likability right now there's a lot of people that are angry with her especially British taxpayers like myself who feel that she could have she could have stayed in the royal family for a bit longer and weathered the storm and just got on with the job and being grateful but she didn't do that she spent a lot of time moaning a lot of time making up excuses talking about racism making what i believe are false allegations as a woman of color and i've said this a million times if you watch my videos you know what my general sentiment is on that she spent a lot of time making excuses and really just not building that connection with the people who pay her bills buy her clothes and paid for that 45 million pound wedding right she's now using her influence and her profile and her fame to bowl over any unsuspecting people who i would classify virgin on victims at this point is set for do what she needs to do which is contact her father, drop this court case, stop doing these things. You see, it's very easy to present yourself as a nice person. And as um, Murky Meg talks about Megan, she says that she's a narcissistic character. So, you know, we know that if she's a narcissistic character, it's very easy for her to have the mask on and mask off. And I'm sure that if I was to be on a Skype call with Meghan Markle, she was she would come across as butter wouldn't melt. She would come across as sweet as pie. But I know behind it, she has a disabled sister who she hasn't called. She has a father who she's put through absolute hell and who allegedly she owes half a million pounds to. She went to Africa and she was complaining in front of those very disadvantaged poor people. She has tried to make all of the media and the headlines all about her during the pandemic. She hasn't donated anything from her personal funds or Harry's personal funds in aid of the National Health Service. She's actually relied on the funding from the wedding, which essentially we paid for, £95,000, wasn't it? to donate to a charity over here, a, a charity that supports people who do not have much food or have much money, who are impoverished. So she hasn't really shown me or anyone who is a big critic of her what her true heart is and that she actually cares and that she's actually grateful. And this, these are the cues that we are actually looking for. By using this young girl, I just think it's in poor taste. But not only that, she's done it on a sacred day. She's done it on Prince William and Kate's wedding anniversary. There was no acknowledgement of that, but then we know they don't have any social media anymore. And it's just all in bad taste. It really is. So yeah, she. I think she definitely done this to steal the limelight off of William and Kate. And she's also done this as a PR move because she really needs likability. As I said in previous videos, I think that Disney documentary has pretty much tanked. I do not believe that many people really watched it i don't think it done as well as natalie portman's sea life one but you know this is this is one who's scrambling for headlines and does anything including stepping on the wrong toes to get in 
your face and get at the top of the headlines and I just think that it's it's tragic I she could use a better time anyway another thing that I found quite prominent on this was the fact that she also reused a purple top that she's worn at a previous event before and we know that she's been heavily criticized for buying wasting money on clothes we know in 2019 she spent about a million pounds on clothes and her maternity wardrobe was just absolutely gastronomically eye-wateringly expensive especially for the taxpayer we are paying for that and I think she's just trying to pretty much pull it together and make herself look good but it's bittersweet with Meghan and Harry because they always put one foot forward and 10 steps back. They do something positive, but then it's side with something negative. So they was out delivering meals, which was a complete waste of time, but they was doing that. It was kind of looking good. Then they allowed the proceeds of their wedding, the, the profits that were made from the streaming of their wedding by the BBC to be donated to a charity. And then they wrote that pathetic low down statement to the British media saying they will not be conferring with this paper this paper this paper and it's just ridiculous so she's she's tried to use this moment she's bowled over this young girl who is of course going to be highly impressionable and she would not have been thinking of the grand picture of things she's in her early 20s she would not have been thinking of all the things that Megan has done she would have just been grateful to have someone coaching her for this upcoming internship which I wish her all the best on I really hope that she does get it when everything goes back to normal I wish this girl all the best and like I said it's nothing against the organization I think it's a fantastic organization for women and young women we definitely need more groups and charities like this I just don't like the way in which Megsy used it for her own PR anyway guys I'm going to go and I'll be back with another video bye guys